Hi. At Bethesda, we're proud of our history of innovation, and that includes breakthrough VR technology that we revealed at E3 2012. Since then, we've delivered some of the very best VR experiences in gaming, from Doom to Fallout 4 to Skyrim, and we're not done. Two of the franchises that we just heard about are going to also offer VR experiences. So, when Prey's Typhon Hunter is released later this summer, you'll be able to experience the competitive mood, mode that Susan and Ricardo were just talking about in virtual reality. And it will also include a single player experience that puts you in the boots of trans star employees working to solve puzzles aboard the Talos One space station. I'm also excited to announce a new Wolfenstein VR game. It's called Wolfenstein Cyberpilot, in which you play a hacker who can take over Nazi robots and turn these war machines against their masters. And our ever-ending quest to bring the message of fuck Nazis to every platform possible. Both the Prey and Wolfenstein VR experiences are playable this week at our booth at E3, so please stop by and give them a try. Now, we are really excited about everything that we've shown here tonight, but I know there are a lot of you who are really here or really wondering about Fallout 76. And I'm pleased to tell you that your wait is finally over. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the recipient of numerous Lifetime Achievement and Hall of Fame awards. He is the game director at a studio that has won a bevy of accolades and awards. And he's here tonight to tell us what he and his team have been taking so damn long to tell us all about. <laughs> Will you please welcome my very good friend, Mr. Todd Howard. Looking good. Oh, it's great to be back at E3. Thank you, thank you so much. I could not be more excited to be here. I want to thank all our fans who came out tonight. And the millions of you watching online. We can't thank you enough. This is actually my 25th year at Bethesda. And I have seen... I have seen a lot of cool things in that time. I gotta say, tonight is definitely, definitely one of them. I got to go to the very first E3 right here in Los Angeles. I know, they're so cute when they're little. <laughs> they're full of energy and life. And then, uh, remember when little E3 ran away from home, went to Atlanta? <laughs> yes, you, a lot of you didn't come. I liked Atlanta, or East Coast. And then E3 went through the, the moody teen years and came back and locked itself in its room. <laughs> Remember, it was in the convention center, but just in the meeting rooms. They didn't invite anybody. And I can remember literally walking between the halls and seeing nobody. I was like, this is how a zombie movie starts. <laughs> and now E3 has grown up. It's in its 20s. It's more confident, can handle its alcohol better, like all of you. Thank you. So there's a, good, there's a good party after this, so pace yourselves. And I hope you're comfortable, by the way. I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> and E3 has become such an incredible week of entertainment, but we know that most of you came here for one thing. Thank you. I think it's to see where we're putting Skyrim next. Yeah. 
Well, I think we have the best one yet. The Elder Scrolls speak of the past and the future. Now, Skyrim looks to the future, to its ultimate version. Alexa, play Skyrim. You're level 57 and see a tall snowy mountain. Climb it. Now, Skyrim and life become one. A mud crab scuttles towards First you. Rodar. I didn't catch that. First Rodar! I didn't quite catch Elf that. First Rodar! Your shout echoes all the way to Sovngarde. What happened? First Rodar. That's the command for knocking things over. Is there a command for picking shit up? I haven't reached that level yet. I'm sworn to carry your burdens. Ooh. The dragon unleashes fire breath on you. Okay. You have 7% health left. Oh, shit. Uh, I, I drink a health po potion. You are out of health potions. Oh, uh, oh uh, how many uh, wheels of cheese do I have left? 473. Okay, I eat all the cheese. I eat all of the cheese. All the hmm? Hey, hun. Hmm? Um, remember what the doctor said about dairy? Yes. Right, yes, of course. You're the greatest. Thank you so much. I ate all of the cheese. Introducing Skyrim, very special edition. Also coming soon to Etch-A-Sketch, Motorola Pagers, oh, shit. and your Samsung Smart Refrigerator. Isla Noose. Oh, that's cool. Had to, had to do it, had to do it. Okay, really, uh, we both know why you're here, and that's to talk about the next Fallout. <laughs> Fallout 76 is a prequel to all the other games, and it's our biggest one yet. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. Set in the hills of West Virginia, you are one of the first to emerge into an untamed and very different wasteland. years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. Almost heaven. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is all there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze. Country roads, take me When the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. In 
Vault 76, our future begins. Vault 76, one of the very first vaults to open, was built to celebrate America's tercentenary, which is an awesome word, by the way. Like, that's your word of the night, tercentenary. You are one of the very special few selected to be an occupant and spend 25 years underground waiting for Reclamation Day, the day the vault opens. Good morning, Vault 76. This is the Overseer. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night, even those who may have overindulged and overslept. But it's time to get up and get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Reclamation Day. Oh, finally! I feared you'd never wake up. Don't you remember? Time to leave the vault. Most of the others have already gone. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. Goodbye! Aloha! Ciao! Arrivederci! Au revoir! We always start with the world, and this time it features all new rendering, lighting, and landscape technology. It allows us to have 16 times the detail and even view distant weather systems across the map. Now, most people don't know West Virginia that well. It is an incredible array of natural wonders, towns, and government secrets. This is where the actual nuclear secrets are. And the quest the overseer sends you on will take you through six distinct regions, each with their own style, risks, and rewards. There's plenty of cool new fallout creatures, and we even use the folklore of West Virginia to bring our fallout versions to life. We have always wanted to tell that story of what it will be like for you and the other characters who were first to leave the vaults. But there is one big difference with this game. It's that each of those characters is a real person. Because yes, Fallout 76 is entirely online. Okay. I know, there's a lot. Uh, you have like a thousand questions right now. So I'm gonna go through them in order. Now I'll hit a couple of the big ones. First, of course you can play this solo. All right? You'll, you'll be who you want, exploring a huge world, doing quests, experiencing a story and leveling up. We love those things about our games too. It would not have it any other way. But also, like many of you, we have always wanted to see what our style of game could be with multiplayer. 
So many of us talk about experiences in our games, but we've never experienced them together. So about four years ago, we hit upon an idea that is perfect for Fallout. Open world, survival, every person and character is real. And it was an idea that we just couldn't shake. We knew we had to do it and do it in a really big way. Now, I know you may have played survival modes in like some of our previous games or some other online games, and we, you know, people wonder, is this hardcore survival? I like to think of it maybe, it's more softcore survival. <laughs> maybe that should be a new ESRB descriptor. Um, <laughs> Death never means the loss of progression or the loss of your character. Your character isn't tied to one server. As a matter of fact, you'll never even see a server when you play. You'll be in a world with dozens, not hundreds and not thousands of other players. It's the apocalypse. It's not an amusement park, okay? <laughs> and you'll be able to join your friends whenever you want and all of your progression goes with you. When we think about games, we think about worlds and the choices that you can make, the stories that you create and tell yourself. By creating a wide open world with very few rules, we have a game more than any game that we've ever done where the choices are yours, where you'll decide what happens. You'll decide the heroes and you'll decide the villains. Look, this is a whole new world for all of us here. And fortunately, our friends at vault -Tec have made a series of informational videos for when all of us emerge together. As you venture out into this new American frontier, some of your fellow survivors may not be neighborly. Chin up there, sport. Not all Vault 76 dwellers will be so hostile. Find them and brave the new world together. Whether you choose to explore the wasteland alone or with friends, your days will be filled with fun activities. Like previous Fallouts, you can play this game solo in Quest. But the easiest way to survive in the wasteland is to team up and build together. And in this one, you can build wherever you want. And you can also then move that to wherever you want. After thermonuclear war, man's towering industrial marvels may no longer stretch to the heavens. What separates man from beast? It is his desire to build. Get started with camps. 
the construction and assembly mobile platform. Construct your home of the future. With your home secure, you can now craft handmade ordnance at your leisure to give your altercations that personal touch. It falls on you and the ingenuity of your fellows to rebuild the America we hold dear. But don't become too attached too quickly. Monitor your environment for anything out of the ordinary. The home of tomorrow may undergo certain challenges. After a crisis, work with your neighbors to ensure success. There's no I in nuclear wasteland. Document your adventures. Your memories will shape the new American dream. What's that sound? Oh dear. There goes the neighborhood. Yeah, we love dynamic game systems. So we thought, why don't we put multiple nuclear missile sites on the map? <laughs> and then let all of you do whatever you want with them. Today's episode, Atomics for Peace. When you emerge from the comfort and safety of your vault, the world you know will have changed. Take your friendly old neighbor, Johnny. Rather than coming over to borrow a cup of sugar, he may now be coming over for murder. The time has come to seek out greater means of protection, nuclear armaments. That's right. Courtesy of your Uncle Sam, these wonders of the atomic age can be found right in your own backyard. But how does a fella like you acquire nuclear weapons, you may ask? Begin by inquiring with the locals. Gently coax them into cooperation. Use a little elbow grease if you have to. In the likely event you don't acquire a full code on your own, do not give up. Search for others who might be harboring a grudge. You'll have that nuclear launch code in no time. With the power of the atom at your fingertips, be responsible and consider your target carefully. Attention, launch sequence activated. Will your bomb land on a rival camp of degenerates? A random stranger? The local wildlife? Whatever your target may be, take advantage of the resulting fallout to gather rare and valuable resources. Yet these rewards don't come without risk. The fate of this new world is yours to command with the power of the atom. We know you've played a lot of our games and a lot of online games, but this one really is unique. We have built a platform, 100% dedicated servers that will support this game now and for years to come. And look, look, we know this is new for all of you. It's new for us. It's a little bit scary. And to that end, we're going to need your help. Because yes, we are going to have a beta. And it is sponsored by our friends at Vault Tech as well. 
the break it early test application. Because <laughs> evidently, these online games are hard. They can have some nasty issues. I, I read on the internet that our games have had a few bugs. <laughs> I did. I read it on the internet, so it's true. And that uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. Anyway, we know together that we are going to build something uh, really special. And we also know that all of you love our special editions. And we have an awesome collector's edition for you. It starts with a map of the world that glows in the fucking dark. And it's great. It's so cool. Uh, it comes with figures you can put on the map. And it also comes with a Fallout collectible that really I've always wanted, so we made them for everybody to buy, and here it is. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. Ain't no use in diving. What's the use of diving? Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. Yes, all of this, the Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition. So you're probably wondering, when is this game coming out? We're excited to say that it's coming out this year, November 14th. Thanks again for all your support of Fallout. It's been 10 years since Fallout 3, our very first one. And it's been an incredible journey with all of you. We do have another Fallout anniversary that we are celebrating here at E3. It is the three-year anniversary of Fallout Shelter, which we announced and released right here at E3. And we have some cool surprises for you. Fallout Shelter is coming to the PlayStation 4. And because that guy said it, it's also coming to the Nintendo Switch. You can play it with the Joy-Cons or touch controls. And yes, it's still free. Um, and excited to say these versions are coming out tonight. Again, thank you so much for your support of all that we do coming here tonight. When we see how many of you our games have touched, it's incredibly special, especially Fallout Shelter. That game has been played by over 120 million people. <laughs> Incredible. That is more people than every game that we have made combined. Incredible. It does kind of make you stop and realize that our games can have new lives on any type of device or system. And you know, when we looked at the iPhone 11 years ago, we had a few ideas for mobile games. Fallout Shelter was one of them. And we did have another one that was far, far more ambitious. And we've been building it. And it's in the other franchise that you love from us. It is called The Elder Scrolls Blades. Like Fallout Shelter, we wanted an experience that we were not finding anywhere else. Here it is. Blades, at its heart, 
is a pure Elder Scrolls game. A massive first-person RPG with console-quality graphics, but with a uniquely mobile experience. Believe me when I say you have to see this running on an iPhone 10. This gigantic screen does not do it justice. You can tap to move or use dual sticks. Combat is all new, and it follows your specific movements and timings. Harkening back to the first Elder Scrolls Arena, this game features both handcrafted and procedurally generated dungeons. And it's not just melee. You have a range of abilities and spells you can use. And of course, you can create your own character and be who you want to be, improving them, leveling up, picking new abilities. And the entire game can be played in portrait mode. That one was incredibly important to us, that you could play it however you wanted. You never know when you'll need a free hand. To hold your coffee, what do you... <laughs> Degenerates. And it's not just dungeons. It's incredible outdoor areas. Yes, running on a phone. It really looks and plays incredible. Blaze has several modes of play. First, the abyss, a roguelike experience where you can see how far you can go in an endless dungeon. And the arena, where you will do battle one-on-one -on -one against other players. And the main mode, the town. This is the hub for your story and quests. You are a member of the Blades, the Empire's top agents. Forced in exile, you return home to find your town destroyed and need to rebuild it. Yes, Blades also features a town building mode. You'll decide what your town looks like and be able to upgrade and decorate all of the individual elements in it. As your town levels up, you'll unlock new NPCs, quests, and more. You can even visit your friends' towns. This? <laughs> this is an Elder Scrolls game that you can play however and wherever you want. And we are going to bring Blades to every device and system we can. Phones, PCs, consoles, also virtual reality, yes. on mobile, all the way up to high-end VR on PCs. And what's really cool is all of those connect to each other. So one of my dreams is we'll go back to that portrait mode, which I like to call meeting mode. Because if you're in a meeting on your f playing a game, <laughs> in portrait mode, no one knows you're playing a game. <laughs> and so with Blades, you could be in a meeting playing Blades against someone at home in VR. Blades is coming this fall for free. And you can pre-order it tonight on both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Also, this week, go to playblades.com and register for early access. 
If you're here at E3, Blades is going to be playable in our booth. So please, come by and check it out. You really need to see it running on the phone. We'd love to see you. Please come by. I just want to thank you all again, all of our fans here, everybody watching online, for all of your support over the years. It is so exciting to show you all that we have coming out this year, and it is an honor and a blessing to represent all of the incredible people at Bethesda Game Studios. We have three offices now in Maryland, Montreal, and Austin. There's a lot of them here tonight. I want them to hear your appreciation for their work. Just the best team and group of people I could ever hope for. Ama amazing. Um, we also thought, since we're all here together tonight and it's so special, maybe we'd do something a little different, too. And tell you what we have coming beyond this year in the future. We have also been working on a brand new next generation single player game. But this one is in an all new epic franchise. Our first wholly original franchise in 25 years. We're excited to announce our next adventure. Starfield is a game that we have spent years thinking about and working on. Something we feel uniquely positioned to pull off and that we're incredibly excited about. But we're also building toward the game after that. And it's the one you keep asking about. Okay, actually, now I'm really done. I just want to thank you all for your time tonight, the time you've spent in our worlds. We'll see you out there. Can I get another round of applause, please? Another round of applause, please, for Todd Howard.
We only get him up here like once every three E3s, but boy, when he shows up, he brings the goods. Thanks also to all of our studios and teams around the world who are so dedicated to giving our fans the very best games. If you're a gamer on any platform of any kind, we think we've got something for you. And I hope you're as excited about what you've seen tonight as we are, whether it's a new Fallout game, a new Elder Scrolls game from Bethesda Game Studios that you can play on your phone for free, Rage 2, Doom Eternal, and so much more. We're really excited. Now, remember, if you want to be one of the first to play Elder Scrolls Blades or join the Fallout 76 beta, you need to go to BethesdaNet and register. It's easy and it's free. For all of you here with us tonight, thank you so much for joining. The party is going to continue afterwards. For everyone else around the world, thank you so much for joining us. Everyone have a good night and a great E3.